leukocyte containing platelet rich fibrin, the highly acclaimed biological alternative for enhanced wound healing in oral implantology. Autologous fibrin is an ideal material to protect our surgical sites. It also functions as a carrier for leukocytes and platelets, which help to deliver growth factors at the critical time of tissue regeneration. Intralock is proud to introduce a new protocol to enhance the handling characteristics and biologic efficacy of your biomaterials. This technique is now called PRF block. But what is PRF block and how is it created? When combined with your biomaterial of choice in a predictable protocol, both materials greatly expand clinical versatility. PRF block requires only a small addition to the intraspin LPRF protocol. Only one blood draw is necessary and the spin rate remains the same. The only difference is that white cap tubes are used and removed after three minutes. Red top intraspin tubes are used to fabricate LPRF membranes. White top intraspin tubes are used to harvest uncoagulated plasma that will be added to the bone graft to fabricate PRF blocks. Blood is drawn in a normal phlebotomy procedure with the white top tubes always being drawn last. The vacutainer tubes are placed into the centrifuge in a balanced fashion. The lid is then closed and the spin cycle is initiated. The white top tubes are removed after three minutes. A sterile syringe is then placed in the plasma zone and the plasma is very carefully harvested. The plasma is then set aside while we complete fabrication of the PRF membranes. The red top tubes continue to spin for an additional nine minutes. PRF clots are then placed into the expression box and the PRF membranes are created. Some of the membranes are then delivered to a sterile dappen dish. The membranes are then cut into small pieces. This will allow more even distribution of the PRF within the graft material. The more solized PRF is then placed to the side of the dappen dish and the bone graft material of your choice is added. To improve its handling characteristics, the bone graft is hydrated with the serum harvested from the bottom of the collection tray. We now mix the PRF into the graft material until it is evenly distributed. Into a second sterile dappen dish, we then place one cc of the plasma harvested from the white top tube. The bone graft is then added to the plasma. The graft is then gently manipulated to make sure that it's completely immersed within the plasma. The coagulation cascade takes place after only 15 to 20 seconds. If desired, the bone graft can be placed directly on the defect site 
and then coagulate it in place to the final shape using the plasma syringe. The result is a PRF block, which is dense, durable, and can be held in place by bone screws. PRF block, another innovation from the leader in autologous biologics, Interlock International.